Hi, BTN. My name's Pollyanna. My question is, where does toilet water go once we flush it down the toilet? What are you doing? I'm trying to work out where the toilet water goes. Hmm. Okay. What are we doing? Well, she's trying to figure out where the toilet water goes. Oh, right, okay. This wasn't getting me very far. I've got to, sorry, I had to follow the pipes. I actually really have to go. Oh, sorry. Everything that goes down our toilets and our drains travels through sewerage pipes under our homes and our streets. So I followed the pipes and this is where I ended up. All the sewage gets pushed out here at a water treatment plant, or as I like to call it, a poo plant. To find out what happens here, I knew just the person to ask. Hi there. I'm Amelia. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Kat. Welcome to Volvo. Thank you. Kat is a wastewater treatment performance analyst, so she knows about all things sludge. Yep, sludge. This is what's left after everything bigger than three millimetres is filtered out and sent to landfill. So here we are at the activated sludge reactor, or the ASR. And in wastewater treatment, this is where all the magic happens. So in these big tanks here, the, I guess the brown bubbling mass that you can see there is a combination of water and a myriad of different um, microorganisms that are treating the water for us and making it cleaner. What I think is really cool about wastewater treatment is that we use bacteria to do the work for us. Okay. So I like to think about sewage as being full of food for bacteria that they love. Well, I have to ask you something, Kat. How do you feel about the smell? Because it is a little bit whiffy. Yeah. Definitely, when you've been working away sort of treatment long enough, you end up getting like, used to the smell, and then you know like, when your plant is working well because it smells good. <laughs> yeah. I love that you're using the word good to describe this <laughs> smell. That's cool, I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right, well, where do we go next? Let's well, do the next step. Yeah, absolutely, we'll go to the clarifiers. Awesome, come with the clarifiers basically separate the happy, full bacteria from the treated water. All right, Kat, so I can see this is already a whole lot fresher. Yep. I can see ducks. Yeah, That's a good sign, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The bacteria is sent back to the activated sludge reactor to eat some more, and the clarified water travels out to a lagoon. It's amazing. Yeah. It's very fast. It's like a little poo ocean. Water. Yep. No, clean, not clean anymore. Poo water. So lagoons are really shallow, they're only about a metre deep. So the sun is able to penetrate through the water and the UV rays will kill any like, nasty bacteria. Some of this water goes out to sea and some goes to another plant where it's treated again so it can be used for things like farming or watering local parks. Back in the day, we used to think of wastewater as just waste. That was it, you had to get rid of it, it was a nuisance. But really, wastewater is a resource. Kat says the only part that isn't a resource is this. Stuff that shouldn't be flushed. That's wet wipes, nappies. And it gets weirder. I've got some uh, camera, I've got some phones. A camera and a phone? Who is putting a camera or a phone down the toilet? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, you know, it's just a reminder, really, we should only be putting, you know, the three P's down the toilet. Poo, pee and paper. So remember to spare a thought for the workers here the next time you're in here. <sighs> you're trying to work out where the toilet water goes, aren't you? Yeah. <sighs> Good luck. <laughs>